A popular small business in downtown Jacksonville is unfortunately closing its doors and it's all due to issues with North Carolina's liquor laws. Now your site's Claire Curry joins us live this afternoon outside the grazing tray with more on this situation. Ken, the grazing tray thought that everything was good to go when they opened in June, quickly growing a base of loyal returning customers. But now they're set to close their doors in less than two weeks. 720 Court Street is the home for both the grazing tray during the day and Dewey's at night. With Samantha Prevett running the grazing tray solo and partnering with Jennifer Morton for Dewey's. During the day, it's very much a cafe coffee shop, and so you can get breakfast and you can get lunch, and then at night we transition over into more of like a sit-down dinner where the bar opens and you can get those craft cocktails and the craft food. Both businesses operate in the same space, but alcohol is only served in the evenings at Dewey's. We got all of our permit approvals um, for the temporary on a local and state level for the liquor license. And we operated on that for six months. The grazing trade did their thing during the day. Dewey's Bar and Bistro did their thing at night. Until mid-December when the ABC Commission paid a visit. We got news that the two entities could not exist um, under the same roof being separate. The city assisted to try and split the space in half, but that led to complications of having to add another kitchen and restroom required by the ABC Commission. And even they offered another suggestion combine the two and make them one. Problem is, is that the ownership structures and the way that we run our businesses are completely different. And so going back and trying to get all of that restructuring done, it just, it doesn't make sense for us. Unfortunately, the only other option is to close the grazing tray. And now Samantha hopes to warn other restaurateurs for the future. I would just say that if anyone in the state of North Carolina is looking to do like a two concept type thing, um, just make sure you ask questions. Also keep in mind, if you are applying for that liquor um, license, that six month period is an audit period. We were also unaware of that. Um, so anything can change. The final day the grazing tray will be open is February 3rd. Now, a petition has been created supporting the two businesses to coexist in the same space, and we'll have that over on our website at WNCT.com. Live in Jacksonville, Claire Curry 9 on your side. Claire, thank you.